Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Some Innovations, the series. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, welcome, please subscribe. Before we get into today's video, if you missed last week's video and you'd like to watch it, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below, or you can click the clickable i button above to see the link to last week's video and a link to the playlist for Some Innovations, the series. So... In today's video, we're going to be working here in the city of San Mishuno, and we're going to be helping out a family in need. We're going to be working with the Bida family here in the Jasmine Suite Apartments. We're going to be helping out the Bida family because they've just had a baby and they're in a one bedroom, one bathroom house. So we're going to be helping them out by giving them the space that they need. So. Meet Aaron and Jasmine de Bida. This is Aaron, their next door neighbor, and then here is Jasmine de Bida sitting on the couch. Basically, they've got a nice little space, a nice little apartment for the two of them. However, they're a growing family, so they need extra rooms. Because right now, it's a one-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment. As you can see, it's got a nice big-ish bathroom. We're going to be making it slightly smaller and more updated. And then we're going to add in a new room where the baby is now. As you can see, we're going to be adding in a wall just to create a another bedroom. But we will be making that space bigger by taking away part of the bathroom to create a bigger nursery for the baby. We'll be making the turning the bedroom into a, more of a sanctuary for mom and dad. Where, while keeping a nursery close by, then we've got a nice little kitchenette, which I'm going to be making bigger uh, because of the fact that Jasmine is in the culinary industry. And we're going to be get, creating more of a divided space between them while keeping it open, but it'll be more divided, so you'll see it more division. So before we start the actual build part, portion of this video, Let's meet the actual family. So we've got Aaron and his wife, Jasmine De Bida. Aaron Bida, he's a young adult. He's currently at level two of the tech guru career. His skills include writing, programming, and video gaming. His traits include family oriented, ambitious, vegetarian, and business savvy. So we need to create a space for him where he can be a geek, basically, where he can play video games, he can work on his programming skill, and where he can chill out with the family. And then Jasmine DeBita, she's a young adult. She's currently at level six of the mixologist career. Her skills include mixology, cooking, and painting. Her traits include romantic, hot-headed, vegetarian, and the essence of flavor. So basically, I want to give her a nice big kitchen where she can work on a culinary uh, trait and basically become improve her cooking skills, where she can also improve her mixology skills. Um, and make nice homemade meals and then they've got a beautiful baby girl named may uh where so i want to create a nice room for her so basically i want to create a nice space for them to be able to live as a family improve their skills and enjoy the space so let's get into the speed build of this video
Hey everyone, we're back. So, as you can see, that's the final product. I've created a really nice space for this couple with a nice sized nursery for the baby, a nice sized bedroom stall for them. It's a bit of a sanctuary away from the rest of the house and family life, but it's close enough to the nursery that they can hear the baby cry if it cries. And then with the bathroom, I've it's smaller, but it's got pretty much everything, all the basics in it, and it's been updated to a company for a hamper. And then as you can see with the kitchen, it's a nice size kitchen for Jasmine to come and cook inside and basically spend a lot of time in. And there is the addition of a washing machine and tumble dryer for them to do washing and stuff without having to leave the building. Then we've got a nice size living area for them. There it will be space for Aaron to take out his video game console to come play when he wants to play. Otherwise, it will be stored away. There's a lot of artwork that's been put into this place because they're very artistic people. They've got video game posters that have been signed by creators all over the place, and which were part of Aaron's collection. We've got art works alongside just to bring in the artistic feel of this space but as you can see that's the space that was created for them and it's a space that i think they will really enjoy and get a lot of use out of